Hello everybody, what is up and welcome back to another episode of the Sabretooth SMP. So today I have a cool, a few cool things to show you guys. We've done a lot of work. I decided to do some stuff off camera because a lot of it was tedious to get set up. But we're going to do a, cool, a few cool things. First off, I'm going to show you guys spawn. I worked on it a little bit. Oh, there's a little pre-bit, pre-bit, and there you go. So this is what we have so far. Let me give you guys a little rundown. First off, we have this little the tree of life. And then we actually got a zombie head here. And we got some flowers. This was actually a flower biome to start with. And then we took it, changed it all up, flattened it out. Boom, boom. There we go. And I learned about another pretty cool mod that's going to be on the server. So check this out. We have a lapis block down there. We have tree up there. What are we going to do? pretty cool see that thing all the way up there the server has lapis elevators which is pretty cool I'm just bad at using them very bad at using them oh, there we go there we go so basically lapis block down there lapis block wherever you want to go and that is what we got so this is our little enchantment area we got some rail set up things like that I haven't used it yet but we are packing level 30 enchants here, which is pretty flippin' sweet. So that's what we have so far up here. Let me go back down. And there we go. Got a chicken stuck in the water. Hello. Now I'm... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. There we go. We are good. So I have not seen spawn myself either. So this is going to be a learn for both you and I. So let us check it out. Let's see, first, looks like we have some sort of EXP bank. So this is made by Glitch. Glitch is the guy running this thing. So basically, what is pretty cool is... don't necessarily know how it works. I think you... I don't know if it's open. Oh, so here's what you do. You take it. You can do one gold block for, I guess, one set of 12 bottle of enchanting is what it looks like. Something like that. So that's pretty cool, and then he did some nice pixel art there, and he seems like he's got a good amount of wool if he's got those colors going on, which is pretty cool. Then, got another shop right here, which does not look like it's done yet, but I know this character was looking for some snow, so I have a feeling that might be a snow shop, and that will tie into the mob catching, snowball throwing kind of thing. Then we have this wooden house, no idea what this is going to be, but basically what I was getting that is spawn is starting to get incorporated there we go people are starting to claim places where they want to build and then one thing which is pretty cool I ran around for I couldn't even tell you how long looking for some cactus and I came across this right here we have a cactus for all farm which is pretty sweet so I got some of that after I spent like two hours looking for desert which I could not find so I have no idea where desert is on this map but we've got that then we have this shop over here and the reason I am showing all of this to all of you is because I have an idea for a shop that is going to be coming and then we have this wizardry shop which I don't think we can actually see oh this guy has a butt ton of redstone which is pretty crazy and I see he might have silk touch or something, but all of these chests are marked private, so I have no idea what this guy is packing. There we go. And so, what we have is we have spawn kind of wrapping around like this, going all the way around, and it should be doing some... We'll have some streets, and I'm pretty sure there's a method to getting some actual land over here. And so, I am going to cut back to my house, and I will show you guys all the work I have done. So I will be right back. Hey guys, and we are back at the second part. So let's take a look. We did some work on the house. Bet you guys can see kind of what's going on over there, over my shoulder. Right there. Got his head on my shoulder. Let's figure out what it is. Pig head. I was running around trying to look for that desert biome. I'm like, you know, two hours into this running around pointlessly. Killed a pig because I needed some food. And dropped a head, which I know right now does not look like a pig head. I don't really know why. I think it's because it's in the item frame, so it looks like the normal item. But I was thinking we will find a pretty cool place to put this, and this big boy will be rocking somewhere. Then, got extra furnaces going. We got a bed. 
have a chest full of all of this random stuff. As you can see, we got some dyes going on. There's a little hint at what our project involves. Okay, we got some other chests. Nothing too interesting here. Just a lot of sugar cane. So I will show you guys the up and running sugar cane farm. Oh, that was kind of a peeker. Got a old sword down here. Started clearing out a little bit of a basement. Don't really have too much planned yet, but you've just got your basic dirt cobble. Nothing too cool here. As you can tell, 43 levels. I'm kind of packing some heat now. I got my little chicken over here. Wandered into my house. Gonna hold on to him. So here's what we have so far. We have the monster sugarcane farm right here, which I will probably make automatic eventually because it is getting pretty large. We got about that much so far. Now time for the cool part. Oh, let's get rid of this sword. There we go. This is my tree chopping down area, so I've been just clearing this out, replanting. Okay, we are on our way. We are going to the project. Let's not run into some trees. No, no, no. Okay, we see some fence. We see some fence. You guys might hear it already. But this is the project. This is the monster project for my next shop idea. I'm thinking we open a wool shop because I am a fan of pixel art. I haven't really done too much, but I want to learn how to do it. And sheep are like pretty sweet. So we got some, we got so far orange, blue, pink. There's purple and magenta, don't really know the difference. We got yellow, my normal white sheep, cyan, which is why I needed those cactus. Some blank ones. That was an accident. We got more blue. We got some lime green, black, full gray, light gray, and a light blue. So we are missing brown and a couple other colors that I couldn't tell you right now. This X right here. So I started explaining that plugin slash mod thing to you guys with the animal infections, where basically I've been trying to breed these guys to the best of my abilities, and maybe it'll happen if I show you guys right now. We'll breed two of them. And then I'm going to run around and see if I can show you guys when it happens. What's been happening is I am breeding these guys and then the babies are getting sick right away. So it's not really working too well in the duplication. So that is kind of causing some issues for us. But if we can kind of keep the farm at about this size, it shouldn't be too bad. I'm not getting wool as fast as I intended, but I still think it would be a pretty cool shop idea. So over time, some of the babies are living. And the farm is making progress, but I kind of like it. I think it's pretty cool. I tried using stone. The reason it's not that pretty is I am using stone for the in-between. And we actually got to take this guy and move him. So there's, I think what we are going to do, what I like to do is I, I breed them. I get the babies. We're going to kill the purple one just because that's going to make life difficult. And come on, come on. Oh, there we go. There we go. And if we get the baby through here. No, 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 I don't want you. I want the baby, the baby, the baby. The baby, the baby, come. There we go. Push in line, move. Where's the baby? Yeah, come. There we go. So that is through door one. And let's go through door number two. Where is he? Where is he? Come on. There we go. So this has basically been my technique so far for kind of getting the sheep together. So I'm trying to breed them appropriately and kind of weave them through here. So this, as you can imagine, took a decent amount of time because I was I was struggling, I'm going to be honest. The sheep keep dying on me, things like that. But I think once we get it up and running, it should be pretty sweet. See, look, he's infected already. I don't know how, but he's gotta go. Something, I don't know if it's an error with the chunk. So like with this chunk right here, they were dying right away. Let's see if we can pull this guy out of here. So, Something is wrong with this middle aisle right here. Every time the sheep come in here, they've been dying. So I've been avoiding keeping them here. But this is set up to be 16 pens. So see, I'm just going to keep them there for now. I don't know if I have any more white sheep around here I can do. No, not so much. So pretty cool idea. Definitely took a little bit of time to get done. I kind of had to level this land out. And we had a lot of... A lot of mobs coming in, which is really annoying. You got a creeper over there coming in. So I did the best I could to light it up. Let's get away from him. I... How? How? How, 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 how? I could not even tell you what just happened right there. This is... Obnoxious. Oh, a little bit. 
and build it up one more. Okay, we're going to leave it like that for now. It's not as fancy as it was a minute ago. But as you can see, we kind of had a little bit of mob lag there sneak up on me. That kind of just ruined some good work. So, what I'm thinking is I'm thinking of making a shop at spawn where I'm going to be selling all this wool. So, and it comes pretty quickly, even though I don't have too many sheep right now. You know, it, it comes in little bouts here and there. As for the shop design, this is kind of the fun part. I was thinking of doing some pixel art to a sheep's face, which could be pretty cool. So I just need to figure out what the piece of land, and then I'm thinking maybe in the next episode we'll pop that for you guys. But it should be pretty cool. It should be interesting. I don't really know if there's rules on how big the shops can be, but based on the size of some other people's shops, we should have more than enough room to do that. So that is basically it with this part of the project. And then the next... Part of the clip, I think, is going to be our project for this episode because there is one more thing about my home that is really bothering me. So, I will be right back. Hey, guys, and now we are going to start building our first little project for our villagey town home thing. It's not going to be anything too crazy, but like I said, I was thinking about putting the house right here. So, I thought it's not going to be automatic yet just because I don't have all the resources to do that but I was thinking we can start off with some kind of like a we'll have a line of wheat line of potatoes line of carrots and it'll just I think it'll look pretty nice you know we can look out the house windows and we'll see this little farm so as for where to put it I think these are going to be the rows we'll make them too wide by dirt kind of like how the villagers do it but I have a feeling maybe we will start back here just so that one we can see it from the house over that hill and then two That'll eventually go away since I'm going to be moving it here. And I kind of just want some room just in case we want to like level this hill or something like that. So I think I have a good amount of wood. I guess we're going to have to see. And I'm thinking I did this right. So I think it's just going to be oak on the outside and then I'm going to be putting water in between like this. But while I do this, I thought I would catch you guys up on some other information on the server. Kind of what I did off camera and what's going to be happening in the future so my first thing oh my bad is that i went did some mining off camera just because it was going to take a really long time doing strip mining to actually find some good stuff so i now have currency which is pretty sweet so i have a few blocks of gold i think i'm gonna need more dirt than i brought actually did not realize how much this is going to take up and i keep messing up so we have I think it's like three gold blocks maybe and then I have some diamonds so you know there was those two single individual diamond kind of bad moments but other than that I did find a nice vein of eight or nine or something crazy like that so I didn't mind that yet just in case I want to try to get a fortune iron pick which I was kind of thinking of doing so we have those 44 levels maybe right after this project we will head out there and we can go do that I think that would be 44 levels is a little obnoxious, and as you guys know, the level thing is kind of linear until level 16. So I'd rather bump those levels off, and oh, okay, that is going to take more than I thought. But we can kind of start doing this. Pop this around the side. I think I'm going to do it like the villagers do, just to keep with the villager theme. I was Thankfully, I have that whole oak forest right there, so it wasn't really too difficult to get all of this. So we'll kind of start it out like this. We'll just do the side. And we've got to make sure we place these right. That is going to be the first issue. Another thing I wanted to mention is I did test out that lapis mob pokeball catcher kind of thing. And unfortunately, every time you use it, it actually does take away the lapis from you, which is going to make it a very expensive thing to use. Kind of discouraging me from using it too much. However, not too bad. I used it to catch... I think it was my first sheep for the actual sheep farm pen store refilling thing. There we go. We have this ready and we need seeds, which I realized we do not have. So I think we're just going to break this down. I think it's time for this farm to go. And we are finally going to get moving because these farms are way too small and they are way too spaced out. And it was just a struggle. I'm trying to do the sheep farm and it is just not working out the way I wanted it to. I'm not getting enough wheat fast enough and all these struggles. So I'm thinking this was, this farm is going to be more of like, 
an aesthetic. Just I'm more so doing it for the view than the practicality of it. So in the future, I think we are going to add... And you know what? I will add the water buckets at the end off camera before we go enchant that pick. Oh, that was pretty cool. It looked like it auto-planted for me, which... If that's the case, let me go grab more of these. Maybe it will auto-plant for me again. That was pretty sweet. Well, I think we're going to do two of wheat for now. And then we can do two of potatoes, and we'll just kind of change it up, make it interesting. Let's try it. Oh, well, that is a pretty convenient add-on. That's not normal vanilla, I don't believe, unless they change something that I don't know about. Pretty cool. Not too bad. Well, let me just grab some more seeds, and food has been our biggest struggle, which is why I kind of want to get this farm going. You wouldn't think this far in that it would be a struggle, but this whole dying mob thing, not working out too well, because I can't get more than a third cow, and then my pigs kind of just start dying once I get too many pigs. So, there we go. We have two rows of the wheat, we got a pig stuck in here. What are you doing? I don't even have... Oh, I do have... I got what you crave, boy. Come on. Don't do it again. Stay back. There we go. We got the first two done. Looks like something took damage somehow. Did you learn your lesson, bud? He's eyeing me. He's giving me the stank eye. I'm going to give him a carrot. There you go. What the baby? Okay, next. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to plant these this time. No. Okay, now it's not convenient when I want to plant something else. Might work off my hot bar, maybe. We'll grab all these taters. Put those away. See how it works now. No? No auto plant? No auto... Uh, well, I guess it only works for seeds. Not too sure on how this works, but... And let's not eat these. Look into the sky. In terms of other news, we, I found out somebody went to the nether. I thought I was going to be the first one to get into the nether. I was kind of excited. But we've got people thirsting for the nether life. So I think we are going to take a trip there very soon, probably the next episode, just because I got to get in there. I got to get some stuff, and I got to figure it out before someone. What are you doing? Well, he's going to do his own thing. But... Unfortunately, like I said, some people went to the nether, which is kind of a bummer. I'm hoping that his house isn't too close to mine, that we're not going to be sharing the same nether fortress bases because that would kind of suck because I saw he's got some potion ingredients and he may be selling all the good stuff that I intend to get out of the nether. But if we could secure a base for ourselves, that would be pretty sweet. And that's why I'm looking to get either Silk Touch or Fortune on a pick. I would really be okay with either of them. Ooh, we are going to need more dirt if we want to get carrots in here. Well, I will go grab some downstairs while I continue talking. This will hopefully be kind of wrapped up in a minute, and then we can swap it over to my enchanting. We'll grab two stacks. It should be fine. So, really hoping to get something good on this pick. Thankfully, since the levels do, they seem to go up pretty quickly. I have 44 of them, which is basically halfway there to my next pick, which is always good. And then thinking maybe next episode we can do some nether exploring and some shop building. We'll, we'll see how long it takes to make the pixel out of sheep heads since I do have to make four walls. It shouldn't be anything too crazy. But let's see, we got to leave a space in here and then we will keep it going. So let's see here. That is two for the wheat, two for the potatoes. This is number one for the carrot. And that is number two for the carrot. And that's all we really got to do. So it shouldn't be... Shouldn't be too much before we're done here. Kind of want to just get this started, and then we can leave it until it fully grows, and I think it'll be a pretty nice way to just beef up on food, and I'll just carry it all with me, since food has, like I said, it's been a really big struggle, especially since I have to give all my wheat to the sheep and attempting to breed the cows, which is a failure. So, there we go. Let's see, we got one, two, one, two, one, two... Other than that, I could not find a desert biome, like I was saying, so thankfully someone's got the cactus spawner, but I kind of wanted to have some of that own stuff for myself. So, could not find the mesa biome either. I know a couple people are making their houses there, so I have a feeling we are going to take a little journey and we will go find other people's houses once they're settled in. Now that 
The SMP is up and running. More people have been joining, playing a little bit. I'm actually by myself right now, which is pretty strange. There was like, there's normally like a really good chunk of people online. So let's just plant some carrots and then we are out of here to spawn. Which I'm really hoping to get something good on that pickaxe. Because we're running 1.7.10, I still cannot see what is on the pick. And you know what, this might work out very well because our hoe is about to break. How far can we, oh, that's all we got. Well, you know what, I'm going to keep these carrots with me for now, and I think we will kind of leave it at this so far. So, I am going to cut it here, and I will meet you guys at the enchantment table at spawn. I will be right back. Well, guys, the moment has come, the moment of truth. We are going to enchant this pick. We're going to see what we get. I popped a torch right there, just because I don't want to do a full level 30 enchant, because I hear level 25 is kind of the best bang for your buck on an iron pick. We are doing an iron pick, not a diamond pick, just because I don't have that much confidence in myself, and we will see what happens. Are we ready in three, two, one? Okay, I want fortune pick or fortune. Ooh, that was interesting how I took that damage right there. And... Okay, efficiency three. Well, guys, that kind of sucks, so we are just going to end the episode here since I need more levels, and that was kind of anticlimactic. I will see you guys in the next episode, and goodbye.